Cheeky vodka with coco. What's her name? I think coco. Fuck with her cause she loco. Mixed up on Duna Lusso. Good morning, you guys. So today I'm gonna be vlogging because I'm going to Turkey in a few hours. I just got ready. I wasn't meant to do makeup, but somehow this happened to my face. Um, I was gonna go like really natural, no foundation, no nothing, but. I thought I'd just put something light on, but then this happens. Anywho, I am going to Istanbul today to get surgery done. I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff done. Um, I'm going to get a tummy tuck. I'm going to get lipo off my arms. I'm going to get lipo off my inner thighs. I'm going to get um, a BBL. I'm going to get lipo 360. So it's going to be a whole bunch um, and I decided to take you guys with me because um, I didn't want to just pop up with a new body and then you guys are like, what happened there? Um, and if some of you are going to have surgery soon or whatever, um, it's, you know, only right to like take you along with me and show you my experience and, you know, my journey and all that. <clears throat> the company I chose to go with is The Clinique. Um, they're based in Istanbul um, So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've been praying. I've been like keeping positive energy um, So I feel really good and I'm very confident with um, the People that I've chose um, But yeah, I'm so excited to see how my body's gonna change because obviously you guys know I've got a child and the belly situation you guys it's just it's not it okay this is oversized so you probably can't, you probably can't see like the full thing but you know i just want to be like a better version of myself you know but yeah let me take you guys with me i'm just finishing up my packing let me show you guys what I managed to pack, the lighting is gonna go really bad right now. But yeah, wait. So this is my suitcase. I made sure I get my favorite sugar-free cookies from Hollands and Barrett. It's one of them sugar-free um, coconut cookies. These are so good, you guys. Um, I was gonna wear some skirt and like a top or whatever and slippers, but I thought, you know what, let me not. I got a whole bunch of stuff in there. So this side is all like, you know, aftercare stuff. Um, this side is like clothes and like, you know, robes and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna, you know, close my suitcase, at least attempt to. And also you guys, they wanted like, let me, let me sit you back up here. So they wanted everything in cash, so I had to like, drew all the money out to you know pay them in cash and I got like some cash myself obviously majority of the money is in my um bank account so I decided to like grab all this imagine walking with all this cash in a random country but they are gonna pick me up there and all that stuff I'm talking too much I'm gonna take you guys with me see the journey enjoy the view okay see you guys in a bit Alright you guys, so basically I've had a stinker, um, I got to the airport and I didn't do a PCR test because I saw somewhere that I didn't need it, but apparently I do. So went to check in and I got everything else but the PCR test thing result. I had like one that I've done since the 30th of May, but I couldn't use that one because it's got to be within 70, 72 hours. And obviously that one's invalid now. And I did take like um, one of the rapid ones last night, but that doesn't count as well. So it's been stressful. I had to like book a urgent PCR test. Um, I had to get Uber. I couldn't find the cab. <laughs> it's just a bit, just a mess. Um, so I finally found him, and he took me to the hotel that I needed to do the test at. Took the test. Um, so I had to rebook my flight for later on today at five. Um, I had to pay a hundred and forty something. Then I had to pay two hundred and 
50 something for the COVID test. <laughs> It's, it's, it's been a lot, honestly, and it's stressing me out. So now I'm waiting for the results. It should come in four hours, apparently. Our flight's at five. It's now 10.31. So hopefully I get it before the flight. I should do. I mean, if it's so expensive, they are hurry to send me the results. I keep checking my emails, but it's still not there yet. I'm so stressed out, you guys. Um, but hopefully it all, it all like works out in the end. I'll keep you guys posted. See you in a bit. Um, I managed to get through. Um, I'm super excited because my heart was beating the whole time. I'm just like, what are they going to ask for now? Um, but it was all fine. So I went and got me some Leon. I've got some um, some of the nuggets and the baked fries. I probably have a little bit of it, and I had I bought water. We have a little bit of it, but I need to stop eating at 12 Turkish time. So I just want to probably eat this now and then. Forget about food for the rest of the day. I don't know if we're getting food on the plane. I don't know if I'm going to eat it because um, I don't want anything else to freaking you know go wrong. Um, so I have to be good. Makeup looks disgusting now. I don't know why I put makeup on this morning. My hair looks a mess. I was literally so stressed out, you guys. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I'm gonna eat and then I'll let you guys know when I'm there. And I'll show you like the hotel and stuff. in Istanbul. I'm just going to wait for my COVID test. Um, I'm so tired you guys. It's like 12, after 12. And I just got here. Stress. It's really beautiful in here though. My eyes are like, oh my face is messed up. My hair is messed up. So you guys, finally I'm here. This is the hotel. Walking in. Um, the bathroom. Oh wow, it's actually really big. Have a walk in shower. Toilet. I'm literally so tired, you guys. Oh my god. This is a mini bar, but you have to pay for those apparently. I can't eat um or drink anything for the time being until after surgery it's actually not bad in here it looks it looks a bit decent but mm, I don't know it's all right I guess like I'm only staying here for one night uh, not even a night because it's like what time is it it's 1 44 a.m. right now and I need to have surgery at like 9 and they're coming to pick me up at 7 in the morning, I think. Is it 7? 6.45 in the morning. So I'm going to have to get up super early. Sorry about my um, vlogging. I'm just really tired, you guys. Honestly. Let me see if I can pop you up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired. Like, the journey felt so long. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what my body's going to look like. Um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna have a shower because I smell like death. Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna have a shower because I have, oh my God, today was, today was a mess. Like I was running up and down. I was doing a lot like, I thought I was gonna miss my flight completely. I thought I'm just gonna cancel the whole thing because everything's just going so wrong. But I managed to pull through in the end. So God's got me always. All right, you guys, I'm going to take a shower now. See you guys in the morning. I need to have a little nap. See you in the morning. Bye. Oh, I just went to the hospital and they got blood from me. They took my blood. They didn't take the COVID test because obviously I just took one today. So they didn't bother doing that. All right, you guys, so this is the room. Um, this is the V. Oh, it's super bright outside. I can't see outside. But yeah, this is the room. That's my bed, this is a hospital. There's a cupboard here. There's a little fridge. The table that just brought me water. There's a TV. That's the room. I don't know what's in here. Oh, that's locked. This is the bathroom. Toilet. That's the name of the clinic. It's BHT Clinic. That's me, I'm just wearing a robe and the hospital gown and my compression socks I got my wet wipes I'm trying to put stuff out so I don't have to struggle but they'll help me anyways yeah so I'm gonna be going into surgery in the next hour or less probably 30 minutes he's already marked me up and everything so yeah see you guys on the flat side. <laughs> Hi guys. So I'm awake. I've been awake for a few hours. My arms are tired so I might cut this short. But I came out. I'm okay. They just um they gave me soup and sugar water and normal water. Um they made me walk just now. When I came out, I was like so confused. I'll explain it to you guys when I do like a sit down chat or when I feel better. But for now, I'm tired. I'm weak. My arms are weak and my hands are shaking. If you can see from the camera, it's shaking. So I'll get back in touch with you guys. I'm too weak to vlog right now. Oh, I'm basically propped up like that. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi right, guys. So this is what they gave me to eat. I don't know. It's a soup. I don't know. Soup with soup with pepper. I think this is soup. Uh, my thighs are coming out. 